What's up guys, Albert here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the top five neighborhoods in Providence, Rhode Island. Before we get into the video, just some housekeeping rules. If you find value in this channel, please share it. Please share it with people you know, please subscribe. We only grow by word of mouth. That is how the channel grows. That is how the channel supports us. And we love making these videos. We love creating content. So again, if you find some value, subscribe, share it with someone. Let's get into the video. Now, these are not the top five neighborhoods. They're top five for a couple of reasons. So for example, quality of lifestyle, walkability. So are they walkable? Is there restaurants? Can you walk to restaurants? Shopping, shopping malls, things like that. And we chose five neighborhoods that we're gonna talk about. All right, the first neighborhood is Wayland in Providence, Rhode Island. It's got a lively community. It's got a ton of restaurants. It's very walkable. The price range for property in Wayland is somewhere between 550,000 and 650,000. It's characterized between multifamily properties, which are super popular. So you got these two, three unit properties where people, you know, look to either move or invest, but it also has some great single family homes. It's close to the east side. You have Fox Point, Wayland, and then you also have, you know, Blackstone, which is another neighborhood here. But it's extremely walkable. A lot of new restaurants are actually going into the neighborhood on a, you know, at a monthly basis, breakfast uh, places, but just the street right there, just shops after shops, boutique shops after shops and ca coffee shops. So it's, it's a really, really great area. It attracts a lot of young professionals because there's also a huge amount of apartments that is available in the area for a more affordable price. So that's what makes Wayland Square a really, really good neighborhood. Neighborhood number two is College Hill. Okay, College Hill is in the academia of Rhode Island. As the word college says it, uh, you have multiple universities in the area, beautiful architectural in the historical district. So it's protected by the historical district. You have single families, you have multifamilies, big apartment buildings. Brown University has a lot of buildings there. It's, it's literally my favorite neighborhood in Providence. Properties are all in really good shape. You, again, you're looking at a price point of you know, high fives and high sixes to get something affordable, but properties do go in the millions there easily, especially single family homes since there is not a lot of them available. There's also multifamilies, a lot of condos. So you, you have condos in price ranges between 350 and 450, you know, sizes somewhere between 900 and 1500 square feet, but it's a really good neighborhood. Again, super walkable. Uh, you can walk downtown. Uh, you can walk to the east side if you wanted to. It's a little further. It's up the hill, so you got to go up the hill. A lot of restaurants in the area, a lot of businesses. So it's a really great neighborhood also for young professionals or if you are looking to invest in one of those multi-unit families. It's not very easy to find one of those, but if you do find it, it's fantastic. All right, number three, it's Elmhurst in Providence, Rhode Island. We've talked about it other times. I actually did a video where I drove around Elmhurst. It's closer to Providence College. Again, super popular neighborhood, characterized by, you know, walkability. You have a ton of restaurants, but also um, it's very attractive to investors. Uh, because Providence College is there, uh, multi-family properties in the area, the three, four units, whenever they hit the market, they usually go in a matter of three to four days, they're sold. They go super expensive just because of how prominent that neighborhood is. But what I do like about Elmhurst is that you have also a lot of single family homes and they're separated from the multis. So in Providence, you'll find a lot where there's multifamily properties, you have a multifamily here, then you have a single family home, multifamily, so it's kind of like a mix. In Elmhurst, you'll find there's these blocks where, you know, there's multifamily investment properties and then you have really nice single family neighborhoods, uh, wide streets, walkability, again, tons of restaurants, it's about, it's about 10 minutes of a walk to downtown Providence, maybe a little further, it's around that area, but it's absolutely a great neighborhood. Lower price range, you're looking at somewhere medium price right at $400,000 for a single family home. So it's a, it's, a, it's a much easier neighborhood to get into and get started. Uh, property somewhere size between 1,200, 1,500 square feet, three beds, one and a half baths. That's what you kind of are looking in that area. All right, number four, we have Blackstone. Blackstone is in the middle of the city and it offers a suburban feel in the middle, middle of the city. Beautiful single family homes, price range somewhere between 450 and 500. Like that's the medium price, but you easily uh, have properties there that go up to three to $4 million. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. You also have the farmer's market there during the summer. 
Uh, it's absolutely amazing. A ton of restaurants, a ton to do. Walkability is fantastic. Like I said, it's close to everything. Grocery stores, banks, farmers markets. You have Whole Foods, Stop and Shop there. It's a great neighborhood. It's probably one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in Providence. Again, properties, medium price point in properties is about 500,000. There's a lot of properties there in the one to four million dollar range that are absolutely fantastic. You know, older historical homes that have homes that have been built, you know, 18, 1900s, uh, but renovated and kept in really good shape. People who live there take extreme pride of the neighborhood, extreme pride of ownership. It's absolutely fantastic. Probably my, probably my top two favorite uh, neighborhoods in Providence. And number five, downtown Providence. Right as you drop from College Hill, you're downtown in Providence. Obviously, that's where we have the business district. That's where life is happening. Obviously, walkability everywhere. Restaurants on every street. Uh, it's 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 fun to be here. During the summer, you have PVD Fest and Water Fire, which is absolutely fantastic. A lot to do. Providence, the way it's located, extremely central. There's a lot of people who are looking to move to Providence for that reason. Average price point, under $400,000, you can get property there. Not a lot available right now, but there's a lot happening. The Superman building, which is right downtown, is completely being renovated. There's gonna be over 300 apartments that are going to go there. It's going to revitalize the city. There's a Trader Joe's right downtown. You, again, you have restaurants everywhere, boutique shops. You have the Providence Place Mall, which is right here. Uh, just a lot to do overall. It's a fun city to be. You have restaurants from all ranges, from, from you know American food, Mexican restaurants, but yeah, you have restaurants from all over the area. Uh, it's a great place to be. Uh, it's extremely fun. Hopefully you found some value in this video. Again, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, let me know.